In this video, I'm going to show you how to use conditional logic within document to show or hide certain elements of your template based on the data when merging a document. In our example, we have two similar text elements, but we only ever want to show one at a time. We want to show the first one if we're doing business with a company within the United States and the second one if we're doing business with a company outside of the United States. To configure the logic, we'll select the first element. We'll go to Add Edit Logic in the Properties panel. And while on the Condition tab, we can see here is the Condition Builder. The first field is the variable which we're going to use to determine whether or not we're going to show this element. The second is the operator we're going to use. And the third is the value that we're trying to match. In our case, the name of the variable is going to be called country. And because we want to show the selected element when doing business with the company within the United States, we're going to select is equal to, and then in double quotes, we're going to type in United States. Once that's done, we'll click save. And now you can see country has been added to the variable list. We can also see over here in the properties panel that this element is set to show when the country is equal to United States. We can test it out by switching over to the test tab and entering the country into the country field. And we can also see that the second element is being displayed because we haven't set any conditions to show or hide this element. It's just going to show all the time. So let's test this out by putting in Canada. And we still only see the element that doesn't have any logic. Let's change it up and try United States. And there we go. Now our element is showing because the country equals United States. If we switch back to the designer, we can apply logic to the second element as well. We'll do the same thing, add edit logic. We'll use the same variable. And then we'll say not equal to United States. Click save. Switch over to the test tab, and here we can see the country is still United States, and it's showing the element for United States. If we change this to France, we'll get the second element. Conditions don't always have to match specific text. If we open up the logic editor, we can change this to total amount is less than 200. That's when we want to display this element. So we'll save, switch over to the test. If we set the total amount to 500, we won't see the element. However, if we put it at 150, now it appears. Lastly, you can set this equal to another variable by not including double quotes and adding the variable name. So total amount is less than previous amount. Click Save. We have previous amount as a variable now. We have no value in preview, that's why nothing's showing up. If we enter in 100, total amount is not less than previous amount, so it will not display. However, if we do 200, now total amount will be less than 200, and it's displayed. So that's how you use conditional logic in document. And as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.